All right. I file a little big notches in. bend a couple tabs over to hold that maybe four I don't know leave a few tabs in case gotta get in there and repair it again for some reason you break it off Try again. Try shoot. Probably gonna still break. Yeah, I'm breaking off. Oh boy, that's gonna be a problem. Probably what happened when I needled that brass with that heat. See here. No guys. I 
might become a part two uh boy that stuff is gonna break off you know i was thinking about here a day or so ago when i was thinking about how to but i didn't have enough a good idea of it. I might have to uh, come up with a better idea. Try to use original vowels and stuff whenever I can. Unless I redo that. bigger so I can go down that hole. size Let's try something. Wow. External diameter. 
head diameter I'm talking about out here is uh, is the same as a <clears throat> same as a Ronson or a Dunhill. Uh, problem is, I don't think this is the same. 7.80 external diameter of threads. Ooh. Seven point eight three Wow. Well. Six point six four. Six point four six boy. Well, have to measure the. I got to run. I got a tool that measures the thread pitch on this. I don't know what it is exactly. I can't, my eyes can't tell if it's going to be close or not. I got to run downstairs and grab my thread pitch gauge. Okay, let's get this mask cleaned up here. on something like that guys you gotta get one of these little tools here find them on ebay yeah ebay the source of all your supplies almost all Okay, I'm guessing. I'm gonna guess forty. I gotta have my magnifiers on for this. 
Let's see what we got here. Looks like that was a pretty good guess. What we got here. Okay. Looks like they got the same thread. Okay. I'm not going to mess with this valve anymore. At least I don't think I am. At least on camera. Okay, here's my thoughts. This valve has the same external diameter. You can buy these on, uh, a guy out of UK sells them. Uh, they're actually for Dunhill. They're uh, uh, Ronson valves. They come with a replaceable internal uh, valve for it. Let me see this in here. This has got a pin on it, but the other ones have. But I tell you what, for you guys that got these type of lighters, I would use that. Then what I would do too is. I would also maybe try to find a, uh, a plug that goes into these Ronsons. Like, uh, this is screw. You know, I had one, or hold on, I think I might have one here. Yeah, I think I do. They one of these push plugs. Come on, Dunhills. All right. Not on that particular one because that's got the pin on it. You know, let's see here. That's what I do. <sighs> Here's what you're going to be faced up with, guys. Get on eBay. See what we're dealing with here. We got a thicker head on this. If you if you find one with a cap to cover it, to plug, it could possibly work and be a, uh, an okay replacement. I mean, it's better than not having a, a working lighter. Uh, focus in here okay now just give me a second go back to this here 40 here's what I got here let's check this out See what I got there? Pretty good mate, see, right there for this one. Now let's get the original valve. Okay. 
the threads are the same, the thread pitch is the same, the diameter head's the same as the Ronson valve. Okay. Now granted, here's the only thing is, this could be bigger, rounder, larger diameter than this here. I don't, it says 6.62. And this one says 6.4243, but I'm measuring it off of here. If we go to inches, let's see what we got here. Point two five three five point two five three zero. Oh. Okay, you could possibly get the. Uh, uh, I'm gonna probably. I'm gonna post a link in the description what you need. But it's the good thing about it is, guy, if you go this route. I think you can sand this down a little bit with some sandpaper if you need the clearance inside. Okay. I'm not for sure. I, I, I don't know more if you sent your whole lighter to me. But, uh, um, and I'll tell you what, too. You guys out there that's got these and you want to try this option, all you need to do, all I did is just, um, I sanded this off, okay, and uh, and all I used to solder that, I got some real thin solder right here, okay, real thin solder here, and all I used was this right here, torch, just to heat that up, and, and just, you know, I had it set in, uh, I had it set in, I had a little clamp where I had it set in like that. And I just heated that up. And of course, you want to take your washer off. I just heated that up and just kept the solder and, and hit the top. And just, you know, it's simple. You don't have to put a lot of heat on this. A little a little torch like this, you know, it's got a little, uh, it's got a little flame, you know, like that. Can't hardly see your flame. Okay, that's all I use right there to solder that. If you want to try, if you got to try that, that's the way I'd go. And you could possibly, you could, you could possibly solder that down in, but it's going to be a bear to get out if you need to fix it again. So, um, try to find some brass that's thinner of a thinner wall construction so the band all it is doing is breaking so the only option you got right here is to get online you guys out there it's got these uh rothschild type lighters you guys will know what i'm talking about i'll put up i'll post a picture of it you know and whatnot in the beginning of the this is your this is it this is your alternative right here I mean, it's not going to be original, uh, but uh, it's not going to be original, but it'll work unless you guys, when you guys take these apart, um, what I would recommend doing, you know, the, the take your seal off the outside seal, but if you guys take one of these apart, and you want to try to work on it without going this route here, I would, you know, get you a little clamp or something to hold it steady and use that little lighter like I showed you and heat those little things up and try to bend them out without breaking them so you can set this back in and re-bend them again. All right, and uh, the type of lighters, uh, um, 
And I think I probably got one here off the side somewhere. And probably, I don't know if it shows that or not, but what I called, I got a thing on filler valves, what I call non-repairable filler valves, okay? You guys can go ahead and look that up. Non-repairable or one is compression, like this in here, this fit, this end of this brass piece right here is pressured in, okay? Now, if you got one like that, these are simpler to work on. You're just gonna grab a, you know, pair of pliers and pull these apart and try not to bend them when you're gripping them. But, uh, say for instance, I'm probably gonna bend it using that. But when you need to put it back together, I just put a little Loctite around that before you stick it in and mash it down. You don't hit it down. And uh, the Loctite should hold enough because sometimes after you take them apart and you go to press down on like your, the refill, you'll, this pressure fitted back will put, pop right off. We'll put a little Loctite or super glue or something around there. Uh, you could possibly fix it that way. Okay. All right. Rothschild lighter, uh, actually non-repairable filler valve. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, just using the Ronson valve would possibly work. Okay. Now, I, I you know I had one, but I sold it. But. Uh, I should have kept the freaking thing, but I sold it. Because them things come all the way from the UK. You know, this, uh, I hate that not be able to repair something. I might waste a bunch of my time and help a guy and try to do this again on the exterior. But uh, for you out there that don't have the ability, you're far away or whatever. This might be your best bet here, is to get one of these. And uh, I don't know about your depth of thread. I presume that the thread for this Rothschild goes all the way through the lighter, uh, you know, because it's, it's got to insert here. So what I'm saying is, is these extra threads shouldn't hurt anything on here. It just should, you're just going to have to screw it in a little bit more. And I'm pretty sure, positive you probably got enough depth because those lighters seem to be uh, long, uh, you know. So uh, take into consideration, um, you know, and just uh, try that. Those those things have a, uh, you know, they have a. Re replaceable internal valve on it too where you just get a little tool and you screw it out you can see that in my repair uh, filler valve videos various video types and whatnot but uh anyway i think this is the best i'm going to be able to do for now and uh you know you you could also do like i said uh, when you get that filler valve you can probably find on there maybe get one of these caps i mean it will stick out a little bit further out of your bottom about the width of the cap the thickness of the cap i mean it will stick out but uh and if you get a gold cap it, it won't look that bad you know okay that's the best that i can uh i can do for you on that